Okay, so we're going to look at teams on the bubble and some of them that are in, but a little iffy if they're going to make the postseason. The Colts are one of those teams. We're going to go in or out. Is this what these thumbs up things are for? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thumbs up, them? Test thumbs us. down. Thumbs up. I'm also offended down. that I don't have one, but that's fine. I mean, I, I permanently walk around with one of these in the that's game of you life. That's you until you decide so, to turn it down. right side up. Hey, get out of the deli line. <laughs> down. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Colts here because as of right now, they are on the bubble, but they are on the outside looking in. If the season were to end today, the Broncos are just ahead of them. They do have, let's see, the Jets this week and the Lions after that. After that, their schedule is fairly favorable. Pete, are you in and out? Are the Colts making the postseason? Uh, I'm out. I, I don't think they're making the postseason. I, I think when you look at the schedule, I think it's basically an elimination game this week against the Jets. One of those two teams is done because the bottom, the bottom team in the AFC is not going to be very good. But I don't think they win against the Jets this week. Uh, and I think you mentioned their schedule does get favorable, but there's a game with the Broncos. That's a tough game for them as well. So I say out. Definitely out. Colts out. And you talked about this get right game against the Jets. Well, the Jets are looking to have a get right game as well. So it's both teams it's trying game, yeah. to figure it out. And when you're in an elimination game at this point in the season, thumbs down, red thumb. Okay. Thumbs down for them. In agreement. Let's go to the Bengals. Before I get into anything, so we both have you guys on camera, thumbs up, thumbs down to the Bengals. And we'll dive into why. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, I'm going thumbs down. We have Ooh, thumbs pick. down as well. Okay, thumbs so down. here's the interesting thing. As of right now, on the outside looking in, they're behind the Colts. Uh, if they win their game against the Chargers, they actually have a better percentage yeah. chance of making the postseason than the Colts do. But, Pete, why are you out on the Bengals? Too a little too late? Uh, yes. Or too and much? The defense you know isn't I mean. very good. We love the offense. It's fun to watch, but the defense has been a problem all year long. But more than that, I don't think they're going to beat the Chargers this week. And I think if they lose okay. to the Chargers this week, that's a major problem for them. Uh, and that's why I think they're out. Yeah, they're out for that reason alone. They didn't start hot enough. Obviously, Joe Burrow's great. The offense is awesome when they're clicking, but you have to be able to stop people in this league if you want to win games week in, week out. The Bengals haven't been able to do that. Thumbs down on the Cincinnati Bengals. One more team we're going to take a look at in the AFC is the Broncos. And Pete, you mentioned when you look at that Colts schedule, the Broncos are becoming a difficult team. We saw them push the Chiefs. They've done very well. They're stepping into their own here. 50% chance as of right now for the Broncos to make the postseason Kyle, I'm going to start with you, though. I'm going to go yes, and I love Sean Payton. I love what Bo Nix has been able to do for this football team. The defense plays well every single week. Obviously, they had a letdown against the Ravens, but I love this team. I think they're dangerous. Their style of play, defensive, tough football team, can run it at will, and they have a quarterback who doesn't turn it over a lot. I like the Broncos. You've been copying my paper again. I don't know about that. I love it. I love the Broncos. You got to put in their picks first. I, I, I don't know. Or their decisions. I think I did. But okay. I, I think the Broncos, when you look at their defense and the way they play, they can, and they can run the ball, they control the clock. And Nick's, like you mentioned, has gotten better. And Sean Payton's done a great job with this team. Uh, I think they make the playoffs. I think they're in. Experience with Sean Payton. So that matters. Too. It matters. Okay, let's move over to the NFC, and I don't think we expected to say this, that the Cardinals are on top of their division right now. That said, it is, it is very tight. Everybody in this division is about two games apart right now. The 49ers are getting healthy, and when you look at teams that are on top of their divisions, most of the teams statistically have like a 90% chance of getting in. The Cardinals have a 58% chance, but Pete, they've been playing well. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm thumbs up. I think they're getting in. And, and they might not win the division, but I think they have a legitimate shot to be a wild card team. You look at their schedule. I mean, it, they have Seattle twice, home and away. Seattle's not a great team. Uh, coming off the bye, they get them on the road. But then they have the Vikings, who aren't playing great football right now. You get the Patriots, the Panthers, the Rams, and the Niners. I, I, in, in that Niners game, it might end up being for the division. So I do think they're going to make the playoffs. But I'm not sure they're going to win the division, but I do think they make the playoffs. Yeah, I, I agree with Pete. I'm giving thumbs up to the Arizona Cardinals. And you talk about their schedule on the back half of the season and how, how much easier it is than the relative to the rest of the league. But look at their first half of the season and how tough those teams are that they played. They played some real contenders for the Super Bowl in the beginning of the year, gave a couple of those teams a run for their money. I trust this team. Kyler's playing like an MVP right now. Remember week one, they were beating the Bills yep. on the road, and everybody thought that was a, a, an aberration or something. This is a good football Football team. They play hard, they play tough, they play physical, and the quarterback is playing out. You're not going to surprise this group. No. Mr. Nope. Packer, we're going to throw you into the NFC North right now and everything that's going on there. Uh, as of right now, if the season were to end, we have three teams out of the NFC North making it into the postseason. We are going to talk about the Lions. The, the Lions. That's a combination of the Vikings and the Lions. We're going to talk about the Vikings. They are not leading their division right now. They're behind the Lions. However, they have a 90-something percent chance to make the postseason. Kyle? Why are you looking ahead? Oh, I'm gonna go thumbs, thumbs down. down. On the 
Minnesota Vikings, and we've seen it happen with this football 92 team before. Ninety-two percent chance it, right it, now to make the postseason. You know what? We're we're working into winter now, but they're a little autumnal. Sam Darnold, this football team, they're kind of looking like a pumpkin right now. You said it before. The defense, if they get challenged physically at the line of scrimmage, that becomes an issue. You can scheme up chaos in the passing game, but when a team just says we're going to pin our ears back and run it down your throat, I have real concerns about this Minnesota Vikings team. As do I. Oh, I say let's go. Down. Wow. Yeah, I just think when you look at them, and for those exact reasons, uh, you, when you can run at them, they have problems. They, when they can dictate to you, then they're really good. But if you can dictate to them, you're going to beat them on defense. But more than anything, Sam Darnold is morphing into Sam Darnold again. I mean, he was awful last week. You watched that tape. It was terrible. And they should have won that game by a bunch. But he kept the Jaguars in the game. I think there's a problem there on offense, and I think it might be him. Okay, and maybe this leads into the next thing. So as of right now, our division leaders in the NFC, the Lions, the Eagles, Falcons, Cardinals, and then you have the Vikings, Commanders, Packers getting in with the 49ers, the Bears, the Seahawks, Rams on the bubble. So, Pete, out of the teams that are in right now, are the Vikings the only one you're flipping? Yeah. Probably. Are we popping in the 49ers no, and that's no, it? No, there's another one I'm flipping. That's so crazy. There's yeah. seven until we both There's another one I'm flipping, too. Who are you flipping? I'm flipping the Falcons out. Okay. Well, let's talk about the – hold on. Yeah, we're going to get to that. I, he just decided to jump ahead. Our producer's in our ear Well, right you asked now. me who I was flipping. I did. That's what I wanted to know. I so we got to talk about both of these teams. Let's okay. go with the 49ers first. Outside looking in, they're healthy. Chance you think they win that division and go ahead. I think they win the division. I, I, I think ultimately this is the best team in the division. They have stars. Stars show up. When yeah. you get to crunch time you want to have as many stars as possible and if you rank the stars in this league they'd have a bunch of them on that roster and you compare them to the to the Cardinals and, and the Cardinals don't have a ton of stars on their roster they do and that's the biggest difference I'll take the 49ers to win the division yeah I'm going thumbs up here with the San Francisco 49ers as well that NFC West to your point it's it's going to be a, a star heavy at the top division and when I think about teams with stars I think about groups like the Eagles I think about teams that have really good leadership in that department on the field but the X factor in San Francisco is Kyle Shanahan. His creativity, the ability for him and Brock Purdy to be on the same page. You get Christian McCaffrey back in the fold. You've got real pieces on the offensive line, rushers on the defensive front. That's a dangerous group, man. They're getting healthy. Niners are rolling. The schedule's a little, uh, you know, dicey the next three weeks. I mean, they get Seattle. They beat Seattle already, but then they got, what, at Green Bay and at Buffalo. That, that's not going to be an easy two-game stretch. Some good, good ball right there. Some good ball. Thanks, I love Sarah some good Kyle. ball there. Some good you know, ball. I meant to tell you, um, Did you catch the Vikings game last week? The Vikings game. <laughs> No, but I did see Derrick Henry uh, full booty naked out, and that gave a new meaning to that. Um, let's go to the car, the Falcons here, Pete, because you said you got the Falcons not in the postseason. You're flipping them out. Flipping them out. In large part because the Bucks' schedule is so... Even with all the injuries, all of so, the injuries the Bucks they have. schedule, and, and I think easy. we could pop it up, but the Bucks' schedule is so easy. And that's the, the next course. team we're supposed to talk they, about. They're going so. to the bye, the Bucks, and then they, they, which is good because this team needs a bye. But when you look at that, look at that schedule. At the Giants, at the Panthers, Raiders, at Chargers, that's a tough twice. game. Cowboys aren't any good. Gotta Panthers aren't any good. Saints. Huh? Got to get the Saints. But it's still, that's a, would you rather play the Saints? Yeah, well, I mean, really what you're asking here is do you think that Tampa Bay you know when you ask are the Falcons in or not it, it comes down to do you think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to run the table at the end of the season and that schedule it bodes well for the Buccaneers but the Falcons there's still some meat left on the bone some stuff to be desired from that offense I think if they can figure it out if they can get after the quarterback a little bit yeah that's a problem scheme a way to get after the quarterback then I love the Falcons but you know I'm really torn on this one I said Falcons thumbs up I said Buccaneers thumbs down. Just because the numbers game, you'd have to win a lot of games in a row for Buccaneers. Maybe the Falcons should have drafted Jared Verse instead of drafting uh, Michael Penix. Mm. They would have had a pass rusher. But here's the other thing about... Uh, and, and this is what we want to pull up really fast. Yeah. The Falcons they, remaining schedule. So they have the Broncos. Point. That's difficult. Chargers, Vikings, Raiders, whatever. Giants, blah. Commanders, and then the Panthers. The schedule's much tougher. And I think they lose yeah. this week at Denver. And all of a sudden, you can, Bucks come off their, their bye. And they're right smack dab in the middle of, with a soft schedule and guys getting healthy. It, it, and I think the Bucs were the better team. I know that when they beat them the last time, they were so banged up, and they were still in that game. Bucks are a tough team. They got the right quarterback. I mean, I love their OC, but it's just they're stacked up against the eight ball. They're gonna win they a gotta lot make, of games. They got to make up three games because the Falcons did beat them twice, and I think they can. So looking at that schedule, though, has he convinced you? No, Bucks I'm still thumbs still, up Falcons. Stubborn. I'm not going to convince him. Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins. 
That's a hard head there. You're not going to fix it. <laughs> We've seen that. All right, guys, thanks so much. Uh, Pete was on your podcast yesterday, Pushing the Pile. What have you guys got going Great. on? Great. We love to have when Pete on When do I get to there. come on? Power like, rankings. End of the you season? can come whenever you want. We're in there Monday through Thursday, 930 like start. Though, so we'll right? see you. I'll bring okay. a latte oh, for you. So Tell me what you guys talked about. Uh, we we built the perfect, perfect wide, receiver. wide receiver. We did Pete's power rankings, which yes. is always fun. And today you had Leger, and you yeah. guys did what? Deep dives, man. We we got into uh, if we agree with active players having podcasts. Or did Leger call? Uh, did Leger call uh, active Patrick players. Mahomes a game manager on your podcast? No, he didn't. We've no, heard he didn't. that before. Yeah. He's kind of been a game manager. No, he's not this season. Wow. He's kind of been a game manager. He's not this a game manager. That's an insult. That's why.